हेलो बच्चों वेलकम टू एस पी एस वर्सिटी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ए क्लास इलेवन टॉपिक दट इज मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ फ्लोरिंग प्लांट्स सो मॉर्फोलॉजी मीन्स क्या है वट इज मीन बाय मॉर्फोलॉजी सो मॉर्फोलॉजी मीन्स it is the study of external features like size shape structure of plants so it is called morphology so the study of the external features for example if you take a plant that is root stem leaf flower these all are external features which we can see with our naked eye आप देख सकते हैं आंखों से इसके इसके बारे में स्टडी करना है इसको क्या बोलता है कि मॉर्फोलॉजी सो इफ टेक फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स सो इट स्टार्ट्स विथ सीड आप क्या देख रहे पिक्चर में एक सीड सीड के अंदर एम्ब्रियो रहता एम्ब्रियो में मेजरली दो पार्ट्स रहते हैं एक रेडिकल और प्लूम्यूल सो दिस रेडिकल एंड प्लूम्यूल विल प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट रोल दट इज रेडिकल विल गिव राइज टू रूट सिस्टम प्लूम्यूल विल गिव राइज टू शूट सिस्टम So radical and plumule are parts of the embryo which give rise to root and shoot system. So here, it starts from a seed and gives rise to root and shoot system. So when you come to parts of a flowering plant. Okay, a flowering plant can be divided into. two parts that is the underground root system and underground root system and above the ground that is shoot system so the part which is present above the ground it is called shoot system and the part which is present inside the soil that is underground it is called root system पहले हमें डिस्कस करेंगे रूट सिस्टम के बारे में रूट सिस्टम कहा से आते हैं इट विल कम फ्रॉम रेडिकल ऑफ द एम्ब्रियो सिर्फ टेक एन एम्ब्रियो एम्ब्रियो इज प्रेजेंट इन साइड द सीड एंड दिस आर द पार्ट्स ऑफ द एम्ब्रियो दट इज एपिकोटाइल hypocotyl cotyledon seed coat that is which covers the seed radical these are the parts of the embryo so from this radical root system arises so the root system will arise from the radical of the embryo what are the characteristics of roots so when you come to roots they don't have nodes and internodes like stem and branches they don't have any bud they are positively geotrophic positively geotrophic means they grow towards in the direction of earth gravity and it can be called also as negatively phototrophic it will grow against to the source of light so negatively means against to the source of light positively geotrophic means towards the earth gravity and generally mostly the roots are present inside the soil underground and they are non green so non green means 
ए रूट्स में क्लोरोप्लास्ट नहीं रहता नो क्लोरोप्लास्ट इसमें क्लोरोप्लास्ट नहीं रहता इसलिए नॉन ग्रीन रहता जनरली दे आर नॉन ग्रीन एंड व्हेन इट कम्स टू फंक्शंस ऑफ द रूट सिस्टम सो रूट्स anchor the plant to the soil anchor means which will give support to the plant so that the roots are fixed to the so that the plant is firmly attached to the soil and they absorb water and minerals from the soil and the root tip will synthesize plant growth regulators plant growth regulators means like auxins which are called phytohormones okay from root tip we'll get a plant growth regulator that is auxins which is a phytohormone so which regulates the plant growth so this phytohormone will play an important role in regulating the growth of the plant so these are the functions of the root system and when we come to classification of root system okay basically when you take root system it can be divided into three types that is tap root system fibrous root system and adventitious root system what is meant by tap root see so a tap root means okay here the radical will continue as a growth as a primary root okay so what you are seeing this is at the top which is a primary root so from this we'll get again branches so these are called secondary roots okay. so this is called a tap root system so in a tap root system a primary root arises from radical from this secondary roots next rootlets root heads which will come from this primary root which is commonly seen in dicot plants dicot plants means you can take mango neem these all will come under dicots so these plants show that is tap root system and when you come to fibrous root system where radical is short lived here so from the base of the stem it forms that is a tuft of roots you can see a tuft of roots are coming from the base of the stem it is called fibrous root system so it is called fibrous root system okay it is generally seen in monocot plants like grass wheat maize this all will come under monocot plants okay. so abhi tak hame padha hai tap root aur fibrous root system ke bare mein abhi hum discuss karenge adventitious root system ke bare so adventitious means the roots adventitious meaning is other than that means roots will arise from other than radical they are called adventitious roots if we look into the picture here that is if we look into this the maize the stem of the maize if you observe very carefully some roots will arise from the nodes of the stem that is from the lower nodes of the stem so these roots are called adventitious roots which come other from other than radical it is called adventitious root system okay 
So basically we can divide root system into tap root system, fibrous root system and adventitious root system. Okay. Whatever it is, uh, whether it is a tap root or fibrous root system. In a root there are different regions are there. That is if you look into this picture taking from the apex. Apex means here this one. So this apex is protected by a cap like structure that is called root cap. So which will protect root apex. Just above the root cap there is a region of meristematic activity. So meristematic activity means in this region continuously the meristematic cells will show continuous cell division. So it will show continuous cell division. Due to continuous cell division new cells are added. Whatever the new cells are added, they are pushed, that is, towards this direction. The next reason is reason of elongation. So whatever the new cells are formed, they undergo elongation process. Whenever a new cells are formed, next step is elongation. And next after elongation, there is a region of maturation where we can see root hairs arising. So maturation means they lose the function of cell division and they attain a specific function. So they are called mature cells. After elongation, they are called mature cells. In the region of maturation from the epidermis, the root hairs, that is, arise, root hairs arise from this. Root hairs will arise from epidermis, which are unicellular, only one cell. Root hairs are one cell, which arise from epidermis. So if you take the regions of the root from the apex, that is region of meristematic activity, region of elongation, region of maturation. Okay. In region of meristematic activity, continuous cell division will take place. In region of elongation, elongation of new cells. Next, maturation of, after elongation, maturation will take place. So these are the regions of the root which are present. Okay. okay, roots will perform functions like absorption of water and mineral, giving anchor, secreting of water. These are normal functions. Besides these, depending upon the environmental conditions. So plants live in a particular place, they can't move. So they have to adapt to the specific environment, the place in which they are living. This may modifications take sakti. So what is meant by modification? Modification means a permanent structural change which performs a specialized function. Specialized means other than increase in absorption, other than normal functions that is called modifications. A modification some root may they call to is called root modifications. As a stem modifications, as a leaf modifications. So modification means it will perform a specialized function other than normal function. Like for example, here, see, here, see. So these are the roots which store food, which are called storage roots. Like you are seeing carrot, docus carota, radish, where tap roots will store food material. 
beetroot where tap root will store food material so this all we use as a vegetables that is due to storage of food it becomes fallen so carrot radish beetroot which is also called turnip where the tap roots will store food So these are storage roots where tap roots will store food. Come to adventurous roots, that means other than radical, like asparagus and sweet potato. In asparagus and sweet potato, adventurous roots will store food. Okay. So the edible part in sweet potato means root, not fruit. in sweet potato we consume roots in potato it is stem there is a difference slight difference sweet potato the edible part in sweet potato is root the edible part in potato is stem that is where stem will store food so storage roots is one of the root modification and another root modification is prop roots what are these prop roots so these prop roots are pillar like roots which arise from the branches that is from banyan tree which is called scientifically ficus to give support to the branches so in ficus tree the branches are very long and extend even to long distance to give support to this the these little roots adventurous roots which come from the branches they are called prop roots here the function is to give support and you are seeing next is tilt roots they also give support they also meant for support but they arise from basal nodes so in the picture you can see they are coming from the nodes the lower nodes of the stem which gives support like in maize sugar cane you can see okay and there are nematophores and these nematophores are generally seen in mangroves so these nematophores are generally seen in mangroves mangroves means which grow in the shores sea shores these are the plants which grow in the water of sea shores so these plants will be growing in the water they will be in the water in water the availability of oxygen is less to overcome the deficiency of oxygen for respiration what happens is some roots little roots will come will grow in opposite direction grow in opposite direction means they grow in this direction generally roots will grow in this direction positively geotrophic negatively phototrophic but here the nematophores will grow in positively phototrophic negatively geotrophic for what purpose for getting oxygen that is exchange of gases okay. so each one is one nematophore here in this picture what you are seeing these are nematophores on this nematophores there are small pores for exchange of gases they are called nematodes they are seen in plants like rhizophore which is a and mangrove plant okay. so the purpose of this nematophores is for gases exchange the purpose of stilt roots is support the function of prop roots is giving support storage roots storage of food so they are performing other than the absorption of water and minerals the support they are giving they are performing other functions okay so this is about the root system come to shoot system shoot system means which is present above the ground whatever it is stem branch leaves flowers this all will come under shoot system 
okay in shoot system there will be stem branches leaves buds flowers all will come under shoot system so it arises from shoot system will arises from plumule of the embryo a shoot system may nodes or internodes rehta aur isme buds rehta which come in the axil of the leaf isko kya bolte axillary bud which come at the top of the stem or branches it is called apical bud or terminal bud okay. a stem or branches initially when they are young a green color mein rehta baad mein when they become old they will be woody and dark brown in color सिस्टम का फंक्शंस क्या है टू स्प्रेड ऑल द ब्रांचेस एंड लीव्स फ्रूट्स एक्सेट्रा फॉर कंडक्शन ऑफ वाटर मिनरल्स एंड एज वेल एज फूड प्रिपेयर्ड बाय लीव्स एंड स्टेम बिकम्स मॉडिफाइड फॉर पेरेनेशन पेरेनेशन मींस एबिलिटी टू सरवाइव एंड अगेन जर्मिनेट व्हेन फेवरेबल कंडीशंस कम्स विस्टेड प्रोपगेशन लाइक photosynthesis support protection a stem may be modifications right the jaisa hume dekha root modifications the kaise stem may be rehta modifications means permanent structural change which perform a specialized function like aap dekh rahe hain four diagrams a pura underground stem modifications अंडरग्राउंड मीन्स ये पूरा हमें नीचे देख सकते हैं सॉइल के नीचे लाइक राइजोम वेर द स्टेम इज हॉरिजोंटल कॉम वेर द स्टेम ग्रोस वेटिकली बल्ब ऑनियन वेर लीफ बेसिस विल स्टोर फूड मटीरियल ट्यूबर वेर the stem will store food the example is potato so is me food store hota hai and a help as a waste to propagation they store food or a waste to propagation bhi karte hain okay and they act as organ of perennation So, if we look into the examples of rhizome, the best examples are ginger, turmeric, palm. The examples are colocasia, which we use as a vegetable. Tuber, potato, Solanum tuberosum, Allium sepa, onion. This all will come under. This will come under bud. Okay. And what you are seeing now, these are aerial stem modifications. Aerial means which are seen above the soil. Like the first one is tendrils, where the bud is modified into a wiry coil structure for taking support. generally in which type of plants it will be seen that is in weak stemmed plants to take the support of other plants like cucumber grape vine in all these you can see tendrils thorns which are hard and pointed structures what is the purpose of thorns that is to protect from browsing animals that means the cow buffalo goat these all browsing animals you can see in bougainvillea the best example bougainvillea citrus okay so thorns and ten thorns function is to give protection from browsing animals tendrils to take support of weak stemmed plants ab dusra dekh sakte hain hum opentia nifurbia ek diagram mein dekh sakte hain opentia where you are seeing an expanded structure it is not leaf it is stem 
So in these plants, the leaves are modified into spines to reduce transpiration. So in plants, me kya hota hai ki leaves are modified into spines. Then who will perform the function of leaves? Stem. So stem will carry out photosynthesis. So this ko kya bolte ki ye modification ko kya bolte ki filoclade. ए मॉडिफिकेशन को क्या बोलते हैं कि फिलोक्लेड वेयर स्टेम विल बिकम एक्सपैंडेड एंड परफॉर्म फोटोसिंथेसिस सो टेंड्रिल्स टोन्स फिलोक्लेड दिस ऑल विल कम अंडर एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशंस राइजोम कॉम बल्ब ट्यूबर विल कम अंडर अंडरग्राउंड स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशंस and now what you are seeing is sub aerial stem modifications so sub aerial means where we can see that is it is neither completely underground nor completely aerial like for example if you take in grasses the stem is sub aerial stem which plays an important role in vegetative reproduction it is called runner okay so is ko kya bolte ki runner okay the stem will be horizontal which will be like this it will not be vertical in jasmine and mint if you look into this that is a slender branch arises from the base of the main stem and it will produce a new plant daughter plant which is called a stolon the crepe estia and econio which are hydrophytes so these plants pistia and econio are hydrophytes which live in water a short lateral branch of one internode will arise and from there again you can see the roots from the bottom and leaves from the top so it is called half set this modification is called half set a modification ka naam half set a modification ka naam stolen aur a modification ka naam runner so runner stolen suckers these offsets will come under sub aerial stem modifications where they play an important role in vegetative propagation here remember the examples grasses and strawberry which come under runners jasmine and mint stolen pistia and econio half seeds they reproduce by half seeds like you can see in chrysanthemum and apple where it shows that is sucker modifications the serial stem modification is called sucker where in these plants chrysanthemum and pineapple a part of the stem will be underground so from this branches arise which will grow okay so it will grow obliquely and it will come outside like this which will give rise to leaf shoot so it will develop into a new plant it is called sucker it is also comes under aerial stem mod or sub aerial stem modification so modifications of stem me hame three headings me padhaya underground stem modifications aerial mod aerial stem modifications sub aerial stem modifications अभी हमें आएंगे नेक्स्ट पार्ट के बारे में वो लीफ है सो नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज लीफ लीफ में देखा तो आप लीफ में पार्ट्स रहते जनरली लीफ अराइजेस फ्रॉम नोट्स ऑफ द स्टेम और ब्रांचेस सो दिस लीफ the angle between the stem or branch that is in the leaf this is called axil of the leaf a axil of the leaf may a bud arises it is called axillary bud okay abhi hame leaf ka parts mein aayo to 
so the part of the leaf which attaches to the stem or branch it is called leaf bean base on either side of the leaf base there are small hanging structures which are called stipules and the stalk of the leaf is called petiole and this expanded part is called leaf lamina so leaf me parts the leaf base petiole stipules leaf lamina or leaf blade is me parts so leaf base is the part to which the leaf attaches to the stem okay or generally i mean a monocots with leaf a leaf base it expands into a sheath like structure like in banana plant okay in dicots it may be as stipules in some plants stipules will be present in some plants stipules may not be stipulate or ex stipulate okay like if we look into touch me not plant like in bean family for the family of fabaceae you can take the family of fabaceae a leaf base full and rehta it is called pulvinous leaf base okay. in touch me not plant it also belongs to bean family where it will be sh showing pulvinous leaf base okay. which helps in sleep movement that is when you touch the leaves of the touch me not plant they will shrink again after some time they will come to normal position what happens here why they will shrink by the shrivel the reason is whatever the water is present in the leaf that is leaf leads it will reach to this pollinis leaf base again after some time again it will come back is a quote sleep movements this pollinis leaf base will play a major role in sleep movements the petiole is called stalk of the leaf the next is leaf base or leaf blade leaf lamina or blade it is expanded part and it is very important one why because it will carry out photosynthesis this may a major function hota hai wo kya hai ki photosynthesis or a leaf lamina may you can see lines the mid line which is called the prominent vein which is called mid rib or mid vein which has the conducting tissue the xylem and phloem a mid rib or veins may kya rehta hai ki xylem and phloem or from mid rib which arises they are called lateral veins or is we say kya aata hai ki veinlets isko kya bolta hai ki veinlets so leaf lamina me veins rehta okay so this veins which are present there is a specific arrangement of veins and veinlets so this arrangement of veins and veinlets on the leaf lamina it is called veination So what is the purpose of venation is this veins and veinlets will give rigidity and support to the blade and they are channels of transport water minerals and food materials through this they have as they have xylem and phloem they will transport water minerals and food materials so they not only give rigidity support as well as they transport water minerals और विनेशन में दो टाइप्स रहता हूं लाइक रेटिकुलेट विनेशन पैरल विनेशन रेटिकुलेट विनेशन बोले तो ये डाइकोट्स में रहता हूं रेटिकुलेट विनेशन जनरली ये डाइकोट प्लांट्स में रहता हूं ओके रेटिकुलेट मींस नेटवर्क नेट लाइक अरेंजमेंट ऑफ दिस 
So that light means the midrib from which the lateral veins will arise, from which vein, lateral veins, veinlets, like this, you can see a net light arrangement, which is seen in dicots. Parallel venation may you can see banana leaf, banana rice beet mix. So these veins will run parallelly. So a monocot may dexate. Monocots, the bullet, rice, wheat, maize, banana. These all will come under monocots. This is what we call parallel venation. Say venation may do types reta. Dicot may reticulate venation. Monocots may parallel venation. Now we will next discuss karenge types of leaves ke baare mein. So based on incision, the cut of the leaf lamina, there are two types of leaves. That is, simple leaves and compound leaves. You can see simple leaf, where leaf lamina is not divided. Or even if it is divided, it does not reach to the middle. So here you can see the lamina is entire. Where it is not incised, but in some plants it will be incised, but it will not reach to the middle. Like the leaf of mango, China rose, that is hibiscus plant, where they show simple leaves. We are going compound leaves. Compound leaves mean the leaf lamina is cut up to the it reaches to the midrib. That means the leaf lamina is divided into small segments. These segments are called leaflets. This is what leaflets. This is one leaflet, this is one leaf. Like the entire leaf lamina is divided into again small segments, they are called leaflets. Like rose, neem, acacia, these all will have compound leaf. Okay. So this is compound leaf or a simple leaf. So leaves may do types like Simple leaf or compound leaf. Simple leaf ka example mango, china, rose, these all will come under. Compound leaves, rose, neem, these all will come under compound leaves. Okay. Our next ayat is me philotaxi. So what is meant by philotaxi? So phyllotaxy means the arrangement of leaves on the stem, how they are arranged. There is a pattern of arrangement. They are not just like random. They have arranged in a specific pattern. General leaves will arise from nodes. If one leaf arises from each node, it is called alternate phyllotaxy. So it is called alternate phyllotaxy. Example, China rose, sunflower. You can see from each node, there is only one leaf is arising which are alternately. Okay. So one at this node, at this one, this here, this, like this, it will come in alternately. Opposite phyllotaxy, from each node, two leaves will arise. You can see two leaves has come from each node. Like Kelotrophis guam. Oral phyllotaxy from each node more than two leaves will arise, which form a oral, like Alstonia, Nerium, these all will come under that is the phyllot that is 
ओरल फिलो टैक्स और सर्कुलर फिलो टैक्स अभी तक हमें लीफ में पढ़ा है कि टाइप्स ऑफ वीनेशन टाइप्स ऑफ लीव्स, टाइप्स ऑफ फिलो टैक्स बाद में पढ़ेंगे हमें मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ लीव्स। लीव्स में भी मॉडिफिकेशन रहता है इसमें भी मॉडिफिकेशन रहता है लाइक लीव्स में मॉडिफिकेशन बोले तो लाइक स्पाइंस टेंड्रिल्स tendrils means in pea plant the leaves are modified into tendrils which are meant for taking support spines where the leaves are modified into small pointed structures like the best example is opuntia phyllode where the petiole is modified into an expanded structure like in acacia The tendrils, spines, phyllo, and moreover, we can see a modification in insectivorous plants. Here, we should discuss about insectivorous plants. What is this insectivorous plants? Okay, what is interesting? Is my interesting feature? What is it? A insectivorous plant says grow in the soil which is deficient in nitrogen. That means they don't have proper nitrogen source. That means they has to depend on other for proteins. So insectivorous plants they can do photosynthesis, but they can't synthesize proteins. Why? Because they grow in nitrogen deficient soil. So what they will do is they will feed on insects. Insectivorous plants are partially autotrophic and partially heterotrophic. The best example for this is Nepenthes, which is found in Assam forest, where we can see a sac-like structure which will feed insects. Nepenthes, Drosera, these all will come under insectivorous plant. Nepenthes is called pitcher plant. So in leaf we can see modification tendril spines phyllode and the sac like structure in nepenthes in insectivorous plants so here insectivorous plants like nepenthes where they feed on insects for the source of proteins only they don't any other for any other thing only for the source of proteins for carbohydrate they can synthesize so these are the modifications which are seen in लीव सो so, अभी तक हमें पढ़ा है हम रूट के बारे में रूट सिस्टम रूट सिस्टम में टाइप्स ऑफ रूट सिस्टम रूट मॉडिफिकेशन शूट सिस्टम में स्टेम स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन स्टेम का फंक्शन जनरल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक उसको मॉडिफिकेशन अंडरग्राउंड सब एरियल एरिया लीव में आए तो लीव में हमें पढ़ा है टाइप्स ऑफ लीव्स नेक्स्ट लीव पार्ट्स विनेशन फिलोटैक्सी एंड लीव मॉडिफिकेशंस सो दिस इज अबाउट द रूट स्टेम लीव सो टिल लाउ वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट वेजिटेटिव पार्ट्स सो वेजिटेटिव पार्ट्स मींस व्हिच play a role in general functions absorption these all okay whatever they we study in the next that is inflorescence flower these all will come under floral parts which play an important role in sexual reproduction okay isme vegetative reproduction is stem or root isme vegetative reproduction bol a floral parts bole the inflorescence flower which will come under floral parts which play an important role in sexual reproduction so this is about your vegetative parts which we have studied thank you all we'll meet in the next session